Hello, I'm Chloe Singer Johnston from Minds and Money, and today we are joined by Greg Reimer. Greg has joined the Surge Battery Metals Board of Directors as its President and CEO. Thank you so much for being with us today, Greg. Happy to be here, Chloe. Thank you. Firstly, can you tell the listeners what makes you different to the other lithium exploration juniors? Well, I think that uh, Surge is a unique uh, company and it has a unique property in, in northern Nevada. Our flagship property is uh, our northern Nevada lithium property. And I think uh, really what makes us different from any other uh, lithium junior is uh, the exploration work we're doing and the, the grades that we're discovering. The grades that we're discovering are some of the highest grades in, uh, in the United States. In fact, the highest grades in the United States. And that sets us apart from other juniors that are developing lithium in uh, the United States also. Most definitely. And on your website, you say that your lithium claystones project in Nevada is geologically comparable to the proximal $4 billion Thacker Pass mine in the making. Can you elaborate a bit, please? Right. Well, the, the Lithium Americas folks uh, who own Thacker Pass have been very successful, and, and it's the biggest uh, Claystone Lithium property project in, in the United States. And so it's kind of a benchmark for for companies like ours to compare ourselves to. And while the geological makeup of uh, our discovery is somewhat different uh, than Thacker Pass's, um, our claystone makeup is uh, is relatively comparable, and therefore the processing and whatnot that we have to do is, is, is certainly comparable. On our side, um, our, uh, our resource is a lot closer to the surface, um, and uh, as I said, our grades are higher, but uh, but Thacker is a great project and uh, a great benchmark for the industry. And can you tell us a bit about your world-renowned management team? Well, right, we've got uh, we've got a great management team. Very very fortunate this year to uh, attract some lithium veterans. Actually, uh, joined uh, uh, Graham Harris joined our board uh, in the spring of this year. Graham was. Uh, the founder and, and CEO of uh, Millennial Lithium, uh, which he sold to Lithium Americas for about a half a billion dollars. Uh, in addition, um, part of that uh, Millennial Lithium team was uh, Ian Scar. Ian's a longtime uh, geo executive uh, and uh, was part of the work that uh, that Graham did uh, uh, on Millennial Lithium. And finally, uh, VJ Meta. VJ is a world renowned lithium. Uh, processing expert. Uh, he was a consultant on uh, the Millennial Lithium Project, and uh, he's joined our board. So uh, he's, uh, he's a great addition. And, you know, this uh, lithium mining is, uh, is, is uh, certainly mining, but it's also chemical engineering. And uh, with uh, VJ being a world-renowned expert, we're uh, certainly happy to have him. On the clay side of things, uh, we've got Ted O'Connor. Um, from American Lithium. American Lithium took a 10% equity interest in our company and Ted O'Connor joined our board. So we have a well-rounded uh, board of directors and management team supporting the company. Most definitely. And could you tell us about your ESG credentials? Well, ESG is a very important part of exploration and mining. And our kind of perspective on that is, is we're just gonna go above and beyond what we have to do on the ESG side of things, you know, for example, on the, the environmental side, you know, we're going through the work that we need to do right now for a plan of operations. And we're doing inventories of every uh, kind of soil type, species, plant uh, in our project. And we've gone and, and done raptor surveys and investigated all of the environmental aspects of our project. And so we just think it's very important and, 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 and want to do it right and do it right the first time. And is there any recent news that you'd like to especially highlight to any investors listening in? Well, we're just finishing, uh, in fact, just finished last week, our uh, 2023 drill program. And we're starting to get assay results. We've, uh, we've up until yesterday, we, we've reported on two of the holes, but we reported two more holes yesterday. And they were significant step out holes. And so we've increased the strike length uh, of our deposit uh, from about uh, one and a half kilometers and we've added another one and a half kilometers and we've uh, widened the, the the size of the deposit from uh, about 400 meters to a little in excess of 900 meters 
with very, very high uh, uh, grades. So we're really happy with the progress we've made there. And who are your current key shareholders and investors? Right. Um, as I mentioned, uh, American Lithium uh, is about a 9.9, 10% kind of shareholder in the company. Beyond that, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of retail investors. We've taken a lot of meetings with a lot of fund uh, managers and um, institutional investors, and uh, they've started to come into the company as, uh, as a shareholder. So we've got a broad base of, uh, of shareholders right now, and uh, you know we're continuing to work closely with the industry to attract more uh, funds and, and institutional type investors. Great. So lastly, what opportunities do you see for the next 12 months and how is your company positioned to take advantage of them? I think the big opportunity and what we're working hard on, of course, is uh, to develop our, uh, our plan of operations so we get uh, permitting approval to uh, really explore and define the size of our resource by being able to drill out uh, the whole resource. Right now we're working on the uh, what's called a notice of intent, where we're able to disturb five acres at a time to, for our drilling program, which includes, you know, drill pad locations and roads. But under the plan of operations, which uh, includes all this environmental study and, and environmental assessment work that we're doing, we'll be able to, to, to drill a lot more. And so we're looking forward to that. We're hard at work on that. We should be uh, kind of finished that towards the end of 2024 being able to start our plan of operations drilling program in 2024 and into 2025. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Greg. It's been great to hear all of your news and all of your expectations for the future. Well, great. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Chloe. If anyone that would like to find out more, please head to surgebatterymetals.com. This interview was brought to you by Minds and Money. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Resourcing Tomorrow, accelerating the energy transition. 100 plus countries represented. And together with government representatives, mining and energy professionals, ESG experts, financial and professional services, industry associations, investors and consultants, Resourcing Tomorrow will address critical mineral supply, the energy transition environmental resilience, the circular economy, ESG, our future workforce, AI automation and machine learning, digitalization, mineral processing and plant optimization, exploration and development projects. Have your say in the future of our industry. Join us for Resourcing Tomorrow from 28 to 30 November 2023. Register today 